Naam, taarifa ifuatayo inawalenga wanaume. Ni taarifa ambayo katika mitandao ya kijamii imekuwa na malumbano makali kabla kuja studio ni ambapo uh, swali linalokuuliza ni kwamba je una ufahamu kuwa hii leo tarehe 11 mwezi wa Novemba ni siku ya kimataifa ya ukombozi wa wanaume haya ni kulingana na shirika la maendeleo ya wanaume ambapo mwenyekiti wake Ndiritu Njoka amewataka wanaume wote kuadhimisha siku hii ambayo itakuwa ikiadhimishwa kila mwaka na miongoni mwa masharti yake makuu ni pamoja na kususia kula kutoshiriki ngono na pia mawapendekeza eh, kuwasalimu wanawake kwa kutumia mkono wa kushoto men will greet women with their left hands that is to mark this world men liberation day this is a no sex day this is a no smiling day And this day men are not supposed to eat food. Haya ndio masharti ambayo yametolewa kwa wanaume wanaotarajia kusherekea siku ya ukombozi wa wanaume ambayo ni tarehe 11 mwezi Novemba ikiwa ni leo. Na kubwa zaidi ni kuwa siku hii inatarajiwa kuadhimishwa kila mwaka. Siku hii itakuwa siku ya kipekee kwa wanaume ambao wanathamini ukombozi wao. Mwelekeo huu umetolewa na mwenyekiti wa shirika la maendeleo ya wanaume, shirika ambalo sasa ni la kimataifa kwa kuwateua wawakilishi wa kimataifa katika uongozi wake. And I being the president of men worldwide. With me here is a deputy president and other officials of the organization. We have appointed a women president and is none other but the first lady of the USA president her leadership her excellency Michelle Obama lakini wanaume wa Kenya wanalichukulia vipi swala hili not observing that i feel that women are an integral part of the community there is no reason why we should take a special line and say look today we are treating women in a particular way men and women are one and the same thing. On well, my opinion, I don't know why they book out for that. Cuz even as ladies we have our own issues, but we don't boycott, we don't complain. Sio ni kama na make sense. Juko pande yangu sio inanisaidia nini? Kwa sababu sijapata sina malalamiko yote kuhusu kwa nini wameamua kwa sababu wamepanga mpangilio kama hiyo kando na siku ya ukombozi wa wanaume shirika hili pia linapinga kuchaguliwa kwa wawakilishi wa wanawake katika kaunti wakisema kuwa hiyo ni njia ya kuwabagua wanaume Mary Kilobi KTN leo